guys and welcome back. Today I'm filming you a video on how we can make your golf swing more into out. The elusive path that everybody wants to have if they want to draw the ball or get rid of this slice. So what I'm bringing you today is my three favorite drills to make your path more into out. So, drill number one. Something you can use anywhere you be. So I've got two head covers here. The idea with these two head covers, you place the ball, when you place the head covers, you go one club head backwards, one club head to the side in both directions. So we have a little channel to swing through that allow us to get the golf club traveling from this into out path. Now, just to be clear, if we manage our ball to target line and into our path travels from inside that ball to target line to outside the ball to target line through impact. This is nothing to do with the backswing, nothing to do really with anything else apart from just pre-impact and through impact. So this path is, is ideal if you want to draw the ball and it will kind of encourage the ball to start right to target with the correct club face combination. So let's just try that. So I'll take my setup. I'm just gonna try and miss these head covers on the ground. And you'll see there from the ball flight, I pushed the ball down the right hand side and it's trying to draw back. It's quite a bit of wind here today as well from left to right. So that would be the head cover one. Nice and simple to do, something you can use on the range. You can even use it on the golf course if you're playing on your own, just practicing and it encourages the right path. The second drill, I've got a tee peg just placed on the ground here. And the tee peg is placed kind of opposite the ball of my right foot and probably about 20 inches away from my feet. And the idea with this one would be that I'd swing back as normal and on a downswing, I would try and hit that tee peg directly away from me. So kind of, if you imagine this is 12 o'clock, kind of a three o'clock angle. So I'm really trying to make the golf swing there work in a totally different direction to normal on a downswing. So the idea of that then is kind of, it's an overkill or an overdone version to really exaggerate the downswing path. Once I've done the one practice swing, I would then go to the golf ball and try and feel I'm going to produce the same kind of swing. And again, a shot that I push quite a bit right, because again, I'm really trying to overdo this into out path. Now the third drill is much more of an external drill. So I've got an alignment rod placed here and the alignment rod again is just to the right of the target, to the right of the middle of the fairway. And the idea with this one is all visual and task led. I'm going to try and get the golf ball to start right to this stick and draw back. The draw back is kind of more important if we're looking for a draw shot, but again, it encourages the right things. It encourages the release of the arms as well. Let's just try that one. So I'm focusing on the stick, aiming square, though I'm not aiming to the stick. And again, I'm starting the ball right at the stick. So all three of those shots were tiny bit of push shots, but again, in order to hit a straight push shot, if I'm aiming correctly, my path has to be from in to out. So it is exactly what we want to try and achieve. We want to try and achieve that in to out path. Now again, to hit a draw shot, we need to hit the ball with an in to out path and a club face that is slightly closed, but open to our target. And that gives us a perfect draw. For most of you that are slices out there or faders out there, they want to hit the ball straighter or draw the ball. Anything that encourages that into our path with a little bit more forearm and body release will encourage the correct ball for 